Jets trading for Ravens tackle Morgan Moses, helping to solidify a shaky offensive line. Look at this. Last season, the Jets O-line ranked 30th in the NFL in pass block win rate and 29th in run block win rate. They were the only team in the NFL to rank in the bottom four in both of those categories. In addition to acquiring Morgan Moses, the Jets added another former Ravens O-lineman earlier this week in guard John Simpson. Dan, are those two additions enough with a 40-year-old quarterback maybe coming off of Achilles tear this year? They can be if they stay healthy. And not only those two additions, but also that addition of Moses at right tackle allows Elijah Vera Tucker, who's their young and promising and talented offensive lineman, to play right guard. Right. Mm. But they all have to play and stay healthy. If this unit is capable of doing that, they got four good starters there now. They have the 10th pick in the draft and likely will be selecting a left tackle. They, they got to stay healthy and they got to play together for this unit to have a chance to pay dividends on the acquisition of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, the amount of turnover along this unit or within this unit has been just remarkable in Joe right. Douglas's time. And look, I mean, he has thrown assets at it. He has thrown a lot of fastballs at the position. They just haven't been able to keep, keep the same unit on the field. I mean, it was this morning that we were talking about it on Get Up. I think there was, it was something like 48 different offensive line combinations since Joe became the general manager, what, five years ago? I mean, that's, that's absurd. That's just, and it's not his fault, but that's just the way it has gone. And, look, with Aaron Rodgers coming off this Achilles injury, look, you've got to be rock solid. Right. Mm -hmm. In particular, like right up the middle, you've got to be rock solid. And they have some pieces there. Look, Vera Tucker's a good player. Joe Tippman's a good player. They just have to take the next step. And one of the next steps involves be on the field. Yeah. Just be available. Yep. Yeah. And sitting down with former Jets and current Jets recently on the pivot, everybody said everything runs through Aaron. Everything about this offense is Aaron being able to get in and out of plays, in and out of protections. And so it's built around what he can do. That means you have to protect him. And listen, I don't know. Him running for the vice presidency might be smart because then at least he'll have secret service to block for him because what they had out there last year wasn't going to get it done. They need consistency from this offensive line, but they need high-level play because you know Aaron Rodgers can elevate the play of everyone on that offense if he gets time. Yeah, I, I agree with all those thoughts when it comes to the offensive line. I think two things, too, are – we have to see more out of Nathaniel Hackett as an offensive coordinator. I know yes. there was a little bit of a handcuffing last year with everything that happened, injuries and all that, but there has to be more creativity. And I think the second thing is I love Garrett Wilson. There needs to be another person opposite Garrett Wilson. Yeah. Alan Lazard did not play to that level last yeah. year. So I think those are two question marks that – coming off of last season, still linger. Yeah, they do also have a hole at left tackle, as we've talked about. They could get one with the 10th overall pick. Hey, how about Brees Hall, by the way? Shortly after the trade for Moses, the running back said, Finally. his day was made! Yeah. <laughs> and crying laughing face. He's like, yes, give me some more protection.